Hello, boys and girls. I am Smelly. How dare you, Smelly? You guys know that the Bell Brothers are fairly responsible for getting John Cena into professional wrestling. You guys know this? Well, it's true. It's damn true. I lived with my brother in Los Angeles for many years. We trained at Gold's Gym Venice. We also worked at a place called Mass Movement. Mass Movement, we moved fitness equipment. That was a tough hang, tough job to have. We worked for this guy named Dominic, and Dom started Mass Movement, and he wanted some knuckle draggers to help him move around his fitness equipment. Treated me and my brother really well. He would give us full days of work. He would punch us in later. We would finish our job a lot of times by noon, and uh, he would hook us up with a lot of extra hours because of the amount of weight that we had to lift. You know, bringing in, you know, two sets of dumbbells that go from five to 150 pounds into clubs and treadmills and stair masters and leg presses and calf machines were the toughest things to move. Anyway, while we had this job, one of the girls that worked there would always tell us about her friend, John, who's this giant Jack mutant. At the time, I was like 21 or maybe tw maybe 23. She would always tell me about this guy that was a description of me, but way better. She's like, you gotta meet this guy. You guys will love him. You and your brother will love him. I'm like, I hate him already. Sounds like he's jacked. Sounds like he looks amazing. Sounds like there's nothing I could do about it. Sounds awesome. But anyway, she didn't say much about him for a little while and then I saw a picture one time at her desk of her and this super jack guy with a mohawk on the beach. And that jack guy with the mohawk on the beach was her friend she kept telling us about. And I go, holy fuck. I was like, your friend is yoked. He's like, I've been telling you guys. I was like, yeah, but I didn't know it was like that. Like, everyone always sends their friends as jacked. And, oh, our friends are strong like you. And they're never strong. They're always pathetic. They're never in shape. They're always fat. Anyway. This guy was fucking diced up to the socks. Veins everywhere, looking crazy. Thick too, huge forearms and stuff. And that guy was fucking John Cena. It was John Cena, the guy that you can't see. And uh, she was like, yeah, he's coming out here this summer and he's gonna work here. So John came out from Massachusetts to like Venice area, trained at Gold's Venice, worked with me and my bro at Mass Movement. And after we got to know him for a few weeks, we're like, dude, you gotta sign up for some pro wrestling. Like, cause I just started doing it at the time. And I was in shape. I was, I don't know, 225, 220, 215, still natty at the time. But I looked, I looked decent. I looked like I could, I was athletic, I guess you'd say. But I didn't look like John Cena. I certainly didn't look the way I look today. But yeah, I was in shape. I worked out hard and stuff. And we told John, we're like, dude, if you come to wrestling, UPW with us, you'll probably get a contract in like six months because the guy that works there has got good access to WWE and stuff like that. He can get you looked at. John, you know, took us up on the offer and then he worked his face off and he ended up getting a contract with WWE in like five months. And I was like, hey, I'm sorry, I lied to you. I said six months, but it only took you five. But anyway, from there, John basically ate giant shit sandwiches without the bread for many years. You don't just go on WWE and all of a sudden you're a superstar. He had to work his craft for many, many years in Ohio Valley Wrestling. And also, he had to work on his character. Originally, we called him the prototype, and we can insert funny promo here where he talks about my genetic lunchbox. How dare you, smelly, mock an engineered genius like the prototype. I look in your genetic lunchbox and find a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with the crust cut off. Understand this. You, like the rest of the humanoid scum, look into these eyes, and you go from a wrestler to a victim. Understand, when you get in the ring with the reigning UPW champion, you have no chance. I am 50% man, 50% machine. You are 100% fatality. Ah! John's a one-of-a-kind person, one-of-a-kind talent. Still somebody I communicate with quite a bit. I really admire that, you know, he's got the body, he's got the spirit, he's got the personality, he's got the acting down for wrestling and stuff, but he didn't take it for granted. He, he worked and worked and worked. He spent hundreds of thousands of dollars 
on his own gimmick once he took, took on the uh, rapping thing. Your time is up, my time is now, now. You can't see me, my time is now, now. Even before he took on the rapping thing, he would wear the colors of the city that he was in whenever he would travel. And he had hundreds of different wrestling boots, hundreds of different uh, uniforms to wrestle in the ring with. And ultimately, when Stephanie McMahon discovered that he could rap, he was like fucking around on the back of a bus, one of the shows they were going to, he was like, shit, we should have you do that as like a gimmick. And then so he tried it, I think, at like a Halloween party, which was a Halloween party that was filmed for WWE. And I think John was Vanilla Ice. And he was scorching people with some raps. Come on, let's go to the race over. The old man's got a plan, and he's chilling in the building. Then I tell you I'm like light beer, I taste great, and I'm less feeling. What are you trying to tell me? But even before all that, he used to do that outside of Sharky's, the bar that we worked at too. John and I worked with my brother Chris and my brother Mad Dog at Sharky's in Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach, I guess. Yeah, Redondo Beach. That's where I met my wife. That's where I met my Andy. AKA her nickname was Big Sexy. She's tall and very pretty. Everyone had nicknames back then. Smelly, prototype. My brother Chris was a boar. Mike was Mad Dog. Everyone always had a nickname. But uh, John would just kind of rap and I don't know, just kind of make light of stuff. Sometimes just because we were like bored, he would do it outside of Sharky's. And then right next to Sharky's was Zeppi's Pizza where John would go and take on the Zeppi Pizza Challenge, which was to eat, if you eat a whole pie, you like get one free. Except he's kept me alive, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, real, for real, he kept me alive. Cause what, you were working in a bar. I was, I was doing any job I could, man, any money I could. And I was bouncing at a bar next door. And they had like deep dish pizza. And so he went in there and you get your name on a frying pan, on a pan, pan they cook the pizza in. They put your name and the date. And he had like his name up there and the date. And then it was the next day. And then it was the next day. He did like three or four days in a row or something like that. And then the guy that worked there was like, I get it, you probably don't have a lot of money <laughs> and you want some pizza. He's like, come in at any time and eat, you know, grab whatever you'd like. Crazy thing is John's so jacked and lean that no one ever knew what to do with that when he would eat like that. But he just fucking worked everybody. Meaning that he ate super precise all the time except for when he was around you, he would eat junk. So he would throw you off your game. He'd be like, oh, if he's eating like that, having a good time, like, I'll do the same thing. And meanwhile, you're getting fat because you don't have the same discipline that he has all the time. He's doing his cardio, drinking his protein shakes, doing all the other things he needed to do at the time. Anyway, there you go. That's my John Cena and Bell Brothers story. Love you, John. Keep killing it, man. It's amazing seeing what you're doing. Unbelievable. If you guys ever get a chance to watch uh, Peacemaker? It's unbelievable. They're, supposedly they're shooting a second season of it. Oh yeah, Peacemaker with John Cena. If you've never seen it before, check it out.